All right, so the next feature that we're gonna learn to implement into our application is push notifications. And Bravo also introduced a new feature where you can use an app called OneSignal to push out notifications. You can schedule notifications and those notifications will be pushed to the users of your application. Now we'll walk through the documentation on how to implement and get one signal set up with push notifications, but there is one thing that we need to do in our application itself to make sure notifications are going to work. And that is making sure the user is okay with allowing notifications. So in our profile page here, we have an enable push notifications button that will bring a prompt up that will ask if the user will allow notifications to be sent to them via this application that we're building. So in the container here, I have a push notification button and we can look at the documentations here under the Bravo list. Under push notifications, you see that we have a push notif enable push notifications. We can see the docs and we can see this tag, the action enable notifications is what we're gonna have to add to our button in order for a user to allow notifications. So in our button here, we have our push our notification button and we have the action enable notifications right there. And that's all we need to do for the Figma file in order to allow notifications. Everything else is gonna be done within the Bravo app itself. So if we come back to our app in Bravo Studio, in the top section here on this bar, you're gonna see a notifications section. And on there, we're gonna select that and we can hit configure your app to get push notifications. So under the settings here, we can hit that and their notifications, we can enable one signal right here. And we're gonna to have to fill out some of this information down here. Now, in order to get this information, if we come to the Bravo's list and we see the documentations for push notifications, if we scroll down a bit, we're gonna skip the testing environment. We'll go over that in just a bit. But if you scroll down, you're gonna see notifications in published apps and live environments. Now, the app that I created for this tutorial is not a live published app. So I didn't create these files because there are some requirements in order to get these. The first one for Android devices, you do need to create a Firebase console account. We are gonna take a look at this when it comes to login and user credentials in Firebase. But if you follow these instructions here, you have to create a project and you're gonna to have to get certain files for cloud messaging and download them in order to upload them to Bravo so that one signal can go ahead and connect to your application. For iOS, it's a bit different. You do have to have a paid Apple developer account. So you do need to have a developer account and then you need to go ahead and get some certification and authorization to download and upload that to Bravo to allow one signal to do push notifications through your application. But if you walk through these documentations here, you'll see everything that you need to do. You can follow it step by step in order to get those files that you need. Then it brings us right down here to how to set up the one signal account. You can go ahead and use a Bravo account here. And what you'll have to do if we go back to this is you'll have to drop the files that you downloaded for the iOS application, your password, and then you're gonna have to get your Firebase keys and sender IDs, and you're going to have to input them here and then hit save. From there, you'll go to one signal's website. You'll fill out your, the name of your application. You'll do the same thing for Android and iOS, it'll ask for the same certificates and the same keys and IDs that you put into the Bravo app. So again, follow the documentation here. You put in the same stuff. Once you follow these steps in the documentation, you have it set up in Bravo, you set up everything in one signal. You'll then be able to use one signal and push out those notifications to all your app users. Now, if you wanted to test out pushing notifications in a test environment with Bravo Vision, all you would need to do in notifications here is you can go ahead and title a notification message, your message, and you can choose an action if you wanted to open a URL, show an alert, go to a certain page, 
or if you just want a notification you can just hit none if you don't want any interactions with it and you can hit the send bravo vision test and that will send a push notification to your bravo vision app that way when you're testing your app in bravo vision you can see what notifications will look like and how people can how your users can interact with them so this you can use the notifications here in a testing environment but when you're ready to go into a public published environment you can go ahead and set up the one signal with bravo by following the documentations from their master list tag from their master tags list you can follow the documentation link there and step by step you can follow those to set up your one signal notifications so the next one we're going to learn how to implement a login so with user credentials a user will have to put in an email and a password and if they don't have it they're not allowed to log into the app and we're going to store all of that information with the user logins in something called firebase